Guys, welcome to Metal Rock Zone Brutal Assault Festival Day 4 Recap. Now the festival is over and this is my recap of the fourth and final day. Just got back from the festival, super tired, super dirty, dusty, smelling of pee, not my own, somebody else's that kind of blew on me or something like that. So Brutal Assault is a 150 band extreme metal festival that is held every year in the Czech Republic, in case you didn't know. And uh, you can actually see my recap of day one, two and three here on the channel. And there is a playlist that we have here called Brutal Assault 2023 that has a lot of videos from bands that were performing there, plus all my recaps of each individual day. And stay tuned on the channel, subscribe, because I'm going to do a video tomorrow or the day after or something like that about the whole festival, kind of like the whole atmosphere, the food, the stores and everything that, you know, Brutal, Brutal Assault is about. And obviously I'm going to rank some of the bands and do some awards and, and special characters and stuff like that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Now, uh, today, this day, day four, I kind of felt beforehand that this was kind of the weakest day when I was looking at the whole program. But it's still a day that had D-Side, uh, Napalm Death, uh, Trivium, uh, Hypocrisy, uh, Terror. I mean... That's not a weekday, but compared to the other days, it kind of felt like that. And I think maybe it's because there wasn't a lot kind of early in the day that I necessarily wanted to see. So I got in there at uh, two o'clock, uh, sun was shining, 29 degrees. And yes, there was piss in the air because it starts smelling when all these people get together and they need to go to the bathroom at the same time and the sun shines on the whole thing. Um, so I'm happy that it was the last day. I'm not sure I would have wanted to be there one more day. I would have. Like more music but yeah uh, the first band that i saw is called omnium gatherum it's a finnish kind of melodic death metal band and uh, they were pretty good uh, i like to see them and there's something about these scandinavian bands they they the quality of playing and stuff like that and they have some different melodies and and whatever structures of songs so that was really cool. It would have been nice to see them a little bit later, like in the evening or something. I think that would have been more pleasant, a little bit more atmosphere. So two o'clock was a little bit too early for them in my mind. Uh, the next band that I saw was Infected Rain from Moldova. I just wanted to see a Moldovan, how Moldovan metal is. And it's Moldovan. Uh, it was good, great singer, and uh, but not really my thing. So yeah, I just caught like a few songs with them. Uh, and the next band that I saw was this Einal Nach, Nach, what's it called? Einal Nachtkrach. Einal Nachtkrach, I think. And I, I was very intrigued by the, the name, Einal, and, but it turns out that this actually means snake's breath in old Irish language. So, yeah, the mystery is out. And uh, I think this band is probably better on albums than live, and there's some strange vibe with the singer. I don't know, guys, if you saw this band, what did you think? I, I wasn't... I wasn't as blown away as I thought from a band with a name like this. Um, so I kind of left midway through their, their program and I went to see a band called Suicide Angels. That's a Greek thrust metal band. And they are kind of reminded me a little bit of, uh, I don't know, like early Slayer, like Show No Mercy sound wise and, 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 and stuff like that. And I, I was kind of lucky because I came in when they had played like three or four songs and apparently they had some massive issues with the drums and I think it kind of remained throughout the, their show and there was something missing there. I mean the music was good, the, the songs were good but they lacked a little bit of either energy or confidence or the volume was too low and maybe there was a problem still with the drums or something so it was a little bit of a letdown but I mean yeah definitely a band that I'm gonna check out more, Suicidal Angels from Greece. Um, then I went over again to the other area and I saw Terror. That's like an old school band from, from LA. And uh, I don't know, it, they, they call it hardcore, but for me, there is, this is just like thrash groove metal somehow. But yeah, you can call it hardcore if you want. And it was nice to see them. Um, and they were great with the crowd. And, and, you know, like this band has been around since 89 or 88 or something like that. So they, they know what they're doing and it's obvious. Um, so next up after after Terror was uh, D-Side and I was super excited to see D-Side because that's kind of one of those bands that I never really thought that I would see somehow, you know, they've been around for a really long time and I was always very kind of scared of Glenn Benton was, when I was a teenager because he burned the cross into his forehead and 
stuff like that. And uh, they were playing on this tour now and on these festivals that they do, they're playing a whole Legion's album, or Legion. And I don't really like that album, so I didn't really like that part of the, the gig. But then they kind of switched into some of the earlier stuff or from the first album, and that was really, really good. So it's half and half, you know, good and not so good. Um, and then after them came Napalm Death, and it was so bizarre to, to stand there and see, like, this side is playing here on the right, and they're preparing Napalm Death here on the left. I would never have guessed when I was a little boy back in Iceland that I would see those two bands after each other in a concert. And uh, there was no Shane Ambery in, in Napalm Death. There was something wrong. He's been dealing with some issues. Some people say that he's got diabetes. Some people say depression. I don't know what it is. But the bass, bass tack was playing uh, the bass. And uh, actually, in one song, there was a historical moment because the guy from Nuclear Assault, Dan Lilker, came on and he played Scum with Napalm Death. And we have a video of that on the channel, so you can check that out. And uh, that was fun to watch Napalm Death. I've seen them before. I like, like seeing them live. I mean, it's not like a band that I, I put on a lot. I have one album with them, this Harmony Corruption, which is actually not very much Napalm Death. But uh, uh, yeah. It, it, it's it's a nice band to see live and uh, and as somebody said there is no fucking auto tune on Napalm Death they just play it like it comes off the cow um, as a fun fact actually while Napalm Death were playing uh, then Benediction started to play and Barney Greenway the singer of Napalm Death he was actually in Benediction and went from Benediction to Napalm Death what a coincidence that these two bands that he was in played at the same time in the same festival some 30 years on. Crazy stuff. Um, so, and the reason why I didn't go and see Benediction, because I could have seen some part of it, uh, was that I wanted to stay there to see Trivium. And I had seen Trivium before in Prague. They played there with, I think, Heavens and Burn and uh, Obituary or something like that, like last year. And that was super fun. And uh, But I regret that now, because as much fun as it was when I saw them in Prague, I didn't really have fun seeing them tonight. There was just something missing there. I don't know what it was. Uh, I felt that the song selection was maybe a little bit off or something. I, I, I have no fucking clue. But they, the band had fun and the crowd had fun, so maybe I'm the problem. I don't know. Um, the last band that I, I saw tonight was Hypocrisy from Sweden. And that's like this old school death metal band. Uh, and this guy, Peter Takt. Tren, I think his name is, the frontman of, of Hypocrisy. He's, he's kind of like a, a genius or virtuous, I think, because he does a lot of production of other bands as well, and he has some side projects and so on. And I had seen them before uh, in Prague as well, and there I felt it was super low energy, and actually I felt in that gig that the warm-up band, the opening band, was better than them. And uh, I was a little bit disappointed because I really like Hypocrisy. I love their albums, I love some of their songs. They have these crazy melodies, and uh, you know, you know, hypocrisy, hypocrisy, and uh, but uh, yeah, they they were actually really good. They had a really cool show, really cool atmosphere, all the right songs, and they drove the energy. You know, like that that was really really cool. Um, and actually, I think one of the highlights of the festival for me. So if I kind of sum up the day, I left after hypocrisy. Uh, if I sum up the day, then I would say that hypocrisy was the highlight, kind of half of of uh, this side. And then, yeah, Napalm Death, just for being kind of Napalm Death, and it's fun to watch live. And then I will give a shout out to Suicidal Angels, because I think there is something there. It just wasn't their day, you know? I'm curious, guys, to hear, if you were there, what did you think about today, day four on Brutal Assault? Was it good? Was it bad? Um, did you smell the pee? And, uh, yeah, now it's over. Four days of metal. Uh, stay tuned on the channel. Uh, subscribe, because I'm going to drop a video with the whole thing. And, you know, top five... What was the disappointment? What was the main character or funniest character that I saw there? Because there were a lot of strange characters or interesting characters, let's call it like that, who had the best food uh, and uh, everything about the stores and the facilities. So you can make up your mind if you want to come to Brutal Assault, then you should check in on that video. Uh, we have that playlist, Brutal Assault 2023 on the channel. And then, yeah, on Instagram, Metal and Rock Zone, we do stories from the bands while they're playing and and stuff like that. So follow us on other social medias as well. We're called at Metal Rocks on everywhere. Subscribe, share, like, over and out.